The video you are about to watch was published about three years ago and it was titled something like El Tyrosine to help a decreasing symptoms of Parkinson. During the video I talk about three different supplements that can increase dopamine and therefore decrease Parkinsonian symptoms. However, these substances, these natural substances, can also help if you have ADD symptoms, because ADD often is a deficit in dopamine, not always, but quite often. Those supplements can also help with increasing concentration. You may not have ADD, but more concentration always comes handy. There is also research indicating that higher levels of dopamine are linked to happiness. And happiness is a good commodity, so if you want more happiness, you may try to increase somewhat your dopamine. More dopamine also increases efficiency, and likely it increases success in life. However, you may also consider the risks, and there are two risks here. One is, if you have ever had a psychotic episode, check first with your doctor, with a good psychiatrist, before taking supplements to increase dopamine. Psychosis sometimes is due to excessive dopamine. And another risk is that if you take too much of these substances, you will feel irritable. And uh, you may have a lot of energy, but you will feel very irritable. And then people around you will not like you. So it can damage your interpersonal relationships. A significant problem. Therefore, if you begin to take these natural substances and you feel that you are becoming irritable, cut down. It's not the end of the world, but you need to be aware of how you are feeling. And then you cut down and probably there is an optimum for you, where you will feel energized, focused, happier, but not irritable. So, finally I would like to add that as we age, there is an enzyme that increases the more we age, the more increases. And this enzyme neutralizes dopamine. So if you live long enough, you will experience Parkinson type of symptoms. All of us. And now, <coughs> life extension has created a very interesting and novel approach with a supplement that is capable of decreasing that enzyme. And then your levels of dopamine increase to the levels that you had when you were young. Consider that possibility too. The supplement is called Dopamine. So I hope this helps. Enjoy the video. Use the information with common sense 
and be aware of your feelings and good luck to you I think that he's right, he's moving in the right direction. Because this is what just happened to me a few days ago with L tyrosine. I have a friend of mine, that he lives in India, and he has a Parkinson disease. And then he wanted to treat this with acupuncture and things like that, that was his belief system. He didn't want to use supplements. Well, finally I convinced him and I sent him a bottle of tyrosine. And in three days, it floored down her Parkinson's symptoms that were quite painful by 80%. And uh, so L-tyrosine, evidently that has a powerful effect on the dopamine pathway because uh, uh, Parkinson's disease is a deficiency in dopamine. The theory goes that, that uh, in Parkinson, the cells in the brain in charge of producing the dopamine have been declining, aging, and dying. And then there is less and less production of dopamine. So by giving the brain the building block necessary to produce more dopamine, in this case L-tyrosine, the brain will convert the L-tyrosine into L-dopa and the L-dopa into dopamine, the levels of dopamine will increase and the symptoms will decrease. The same principle is used by the drug industry. They produce a drug called L-dopa, which is not really L-dopa, it's similar, but they have distorted the molecule so that they can patent it. Obviously, the solution with L-tyrosine or L-dopa as natural substances, to me at least, makes much more sense. And we, I could see the results in the case of my friend. Now, L-DOPA exists also in nature by using a, a bean called Mucuna pruriens. It's, a, it's, a, it's an herb. And then um, the Mucuna pruriens is, um, has L-DOPA and has been used in Ayurveda to treat Parkinson's for thousands of years, or at least hundreds of years. So keep in mind that you can help people with Parkinson by giving them the Mucuna prurians, giving them the L-tyrosine or the brain energy formula, and uh, of course you want to give them all the other good things, right? The fish oils, all the things that we have discussed here. Yeah, the fish oils, the vitamin B12, and blah, blah, blah. You can also use L-phenylalanine. L-phenylalanine is a totally natural molecule, and it um, not like the D form, that is slightly not natural, but the L form, the, when the amino acid is oriented to the, to the left, uh, is totally natural and is converted into by the body, by the brain, into l tyrosine and the tyrosine into L-dopa, the L-dopa into dopamine. So supplementing with l phenylalanine is a weaker intervention, but it is a good intervention too. And it does increase dopamine. 